Brander is from Iceland. He's a painter, an entrepreneur and venture capitalist. He's also paralyzed from the neck down. This is the story of how Brander mysteriously became paralyzed in his mid-twenties, what was going on in his mind as it was happening, and a man named Gisli who invented a way for Brander to fly. We're on our way to meet up with our friend Brander, who's from Iceland. Brander gets the chance to go paragliding with Gisli just once a year. Today could be his second time flying ever. But before we jump off a cliff, we need to meet him. Hello? Just come in. Hey. Hi. Brando, nice to meet you. Growing up, what were your like main interests? I think my life changed so much when I became disabled that I kind of lost connection with my past. I used to do judo and, and play basketball and, you know, hike mountains. He was a man who prided himself on being able to do things on his own. Then, about a year after a trip to Peru, he began to mysteriously lose his mobility. Maybe I got a tick bite, and maybe I had a dormant Lyme disease. Uh, it was strange. I would run normally, and then after maybe half an hour of exertion, my right leg would start just not responding. So I'd start tripping, and then it went to my left hand, and then my left leg, and then one day, you know, it was just always there. So that took maybe about five, six years. So it was a very slow, gradual kind of process. And you know, I, nobody knew what was going on. i just come to accept the fact that I was about to die. The thought that it was about to be over was comforting. Why is that? It was because I experienced myself as a burden on the people around me. I'd lost all the things that I used to kind of build my ego upon. I was a strong, bulky Viking guy. And now I was this, you know, weak, paralyzed dude. So I think so, I'm 36 today. That's it. I've been stable for, for the past seven years. You can imagine that moment when you realize that, you know, I'm not going to die, but, you know, I'm, I'm in this situation. So first project was to realize what is my potential. Brander's life was changed forever. His dreams of who he wanted to become disappeared. And for a while, so did his motivation. But bit by bit, he started to create a new Brander. He took online courses on Coursera, and he learned to paint with his mouth. And then I met Gisli, and asked him if we could fly, and he said no. Oh. Time to go. We've been making Gisli wait. He said we'd be there by noon, and it's noon now. It's like a two-hour drive, so we're going to be two hours late. So yeah, it's time to go. Vik is a small town on the southern coast of Iceland, famous for its black sand beaches and colossal cliff faces. If the weather's good enough, Brander will get to make his second jump today. So we've just made it to Vic. This is Gisli. Mm -hmm. Shwa! Yeah. How, how, <laughs> Gisli, you run True Adventure here in Vic. Yeah. And uh, how's, how's today looking for, for flying? You can see it. It's perfect. Perfect. To paraglide, you need a cliff to jump off of. So I drove up this one until this happened. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Are we stuck? No, 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 you're not stuck. It's all right. So just put it in first gear. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Made it through that terrifying spot. The car was stuck for a little bit, <laughs> going in reverse <laughs> off the edge of a cliff. Rhonda really guided us through there. This is the flying chair that Gisli and a team of engineers built for Brander, but it almost didn't happen. Gisli is the kind of guy, he, he just, you know, produces stuff. If you get him motivated on a problem, you know, he, he just snaps his fingers and somehow creates solutions. So when I, when I got this idea that I wanted to fly, I, I contacted him and, and he said no. And I said no in the beginning. Uh, it was hard to say no, so I put my mind into it, and the day after I called Brander and told him it's doable. That small decision led to an 18-month journey, working with a team of aerospace engineers to design a chair that would allow Gisli and Brander to fly together. What was going through your head the next day that made you change your mind? My mind changed like in the middle of the night. I didn't go to sleep until I just decided to do it. I felt like super bad to say no to him because he's the same as me. He's adventurous. We connected like completely right away when we met and I saw myself in him. What was the main drive, I think. How are you feeling right now? As, Great. as a girlfriend. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> 
Can I also kiss him? <laughs> That's okay! <laughs> Everybody gets a kiss. <laughs> okay, Brander's in the seat. They're getting the kite ready. And they are about to jump off this cliff. That's it. Let's see what happens. Ready for liftoff. Been down here for a minute. How was it? That was amazing. Yeah, that was so cool. I'm so impressed. I feel sorry for myself. I can think about Pranter, but I don't feel sorry for him. If it's not like a pity. I mean, I'm just impressed. It's not what is in front of you. It's your perspective of the obstacles in your life. You can see it. If you're around him, you get affected by it. So has there been any like like unexpected thing you've seen that like this has given you? My situation? Yeah, yeah, I think there are many. When I became sick, I thought I was gonna die. So there was no pressure to actually achieve anything with, you know, my life. And that was a very liberating feeling. It kind of made it so that I was able to completely write my own story. So I got to ask myself, you know, who do you really want to be? And you're not gonna be the guy you thought you were gonna be. So you can throw that book out of the window. I realized that the only real thing that gives life meaning is, is you know, other people. If you spend your time helping others, especially the people around you, they're gonna come and help you back. Take that and help others around them. So eventually you create like a community of people, everybody helping each other. So this disconnect from my past was, was quite, quite cool. It's easy to think that your life would be over if what happened to Brander happened to you. But for Brander, it's still just the beginning. He is living proof that life is not what happens to you. It's how you react to it. Hanging with Brander was an incredible reminder that we can all do a whole lot more than we probably think we could do. I'm Brander. I'm Kisley. Rally on! Rally on.